Hello friends, today in this video I am going to show you a magic, honestly it's a magic. So the thing is, I am provided this report which is, which is a totally raw, as you can see it has got mud cells as well as some bad columns and it goes on and on and on and on and another problem is I'll be getting this report every day and I'll have to clean it up and then I'll have to summarize it and then prepare a report so this is you know a life ending situation if I have to keep uh, clean every day this report and just uh, uh, prepare reports so what I am going to do is I have to convert this thing into this so I want to summarize it and then make some charts some pivot tables and some reports so how can we do that that's a million dollar question and we have to do it for every day as you can see it is for 1st of January and then I'll get another report for 2nd of January and then so on. So every day I'll have to perform this clinic. So to automate it, to totally dynamically automate it, we have to go into the Power Query. The Power Query basically has been for quite a long now but we the so-called excel expert are quite afraid of it i don't know why this is the mistake we usually make we do not understand where we are currently what are our skills now and should we go a step further or not we are should we stick only to the formulas as you can see this table does not contain any formula in any cell so this is a very small file as well so let's jump into the power query and i'll show you how we can from the data table uh, you always uh, i have connected it with a folder which you can connect it which i'll show in uh, next video uh, for the time being i'm just showing you uh, in the power query section and then in the next video i'll show you how we can clean it up so simply I'll go uh, and edit the query what, uh, which I uh, prepared. <clears throat> As you can see Power Query is totally different from Excel. We cannot uh, click on Excel but it is totally separate from Excel. What I have done is I have connected a folder uh, with uh, uh, containing those files. Let me show you the folder where the files are. So here is the folder where the files are. There are three, four files for the time being for 1st of January, 2nd of January and one useless file I just uh, inserted in here uh, uh, to uh, uh, make the things smoother uh, while filtering the things. What I did, I connected the folder with the Power Query and then I filtered out. I filtered out everything that is irrelevant. So for example, I filtered, uh, first I filtered the file, uh, let me show you the filter, uh, yeah, uh, the first uh, I filtered the files uh, which contained the name, the name of the report which I need, Every, everything else will be filtered out. Then I filtered the files which only contain the ex uh, extension Excel or xlsx so i if somebody inserts a pdf file in that folder it would go out it won't show in here so finally there are quite a few steps which i created which are very basic and very easy to do and once i uh, make another video and i'll show you how we can create these these are very simple and basic things uh, it is just filtering or inserting columns etc and once we clean this thing up we end up like this and simply we get 
the information in this table which we easily can go close and load which I already have done that so magic thing is what I wanted to show you is for example if you notice this ends here at first uh, 2nd of January so what I am going to do is I am going to insert two more reports what I'll do is if if I show you these both the reports you'll notice these are the very same basic raw data so these are basic raw data and I am going to just put them in the folder where my previous data was so now this folder has four uh, reports and simply I have to go in here right click and refresh and within a minute or two it will just populate the information from the remaining two files as you can see now I have the data for first of uh, 3rd of January and then I'll have data for 4th of January as well so as you can see now we have the data for 3rd and 4th of January and simply we got it in here I can just go and update the pivot tables and my reports will update so that's all we are done we are done with another couple of days imagine if we had to clean those two days as well as every day for example if I just open it again imagine the cleaning imagine the cleaning we will need to do will uh, we'll be doing it for hours and hours and hours and then tomorrow again we'll repeat the same thing but with power query i just drag those files into the folder and updated my query and i got the data populated in the very clean and proper tabular format and then my pivot charts and reports updated in a second so this is how power query can change your life just stick around subscribe to my channel and will uh, i'll show you each and everything how we can uh, perform uh, this this just turned to yeah here we go so it is very easy and quick you just have to be uh, sticking around and I'll show you the magic and uh, teach you each and every step how we can uh, uh, turn our very raw and useless data into very useful informative reports. Thank you.